Hallo miteinander, mein Name ist Daniele und ich probiere euch den Backhand näher zu bringen. Wir haben eigentlich im Koffergriff die Scheibe. Man nimmt den Daumen über die Rille vom Frisbee und macht hinten einen Boost mit den Fingern, mit den restlichen, dass alles schön zusammen ist, sodass keine Löcher entstehen und man am Schluss die Scheibe gut losführen kann. Nach dem Griff ist der zweite Teil die Positionierung. Das macht man, indem man hüftbreit er steht, zum Ziel her schaut, einen Ausfallschritt macht, muss nicht gross sein. Es geht vor allem darum, dass man hier den ganzen Platz hat, um den Backhand zu spielen. Dass ein guter Backhand gewährleistet ist, ist der Drall entscheidend. Man steht raus und gibt den Zwick ganz am Schluss, wenn man den Frisbee aus der Hand gibt. Das ist wichtiger wie Kraft. Du möchtest so werfen können wie Daniele? Dann melde dich doch unverbindlich bei einem unserer Clubs und erfahre alles über Ultimate, die schnelle Teamsportart mit dem Frisbee. Alle Infos findest du auf unserer Verbandswebseite ultimate.ch. Wir freuen uns, von dir zu hören. Soli, ich wünsche euch viel Spaß und Becken dir. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. TV. Okay, and welcome back to the third game of today, the last game of the Swiss Championships. This is now a placement game, so these two teams play for ninth place, so the first place in the League B. We have uh, Fab X against the Wombats that we already saw this morning. So they're playing hard. We have good pressure there from the zone of the Wombats leading to a drop on the side of Fabix. So we have the Wombats picking up the disc. We have uh, Andrea Kammermann picking up the disc, looking at her options, finding Kuziman with the disc for his team. Daniela Kraus back into the center to Schmidli. Looking for the around throw. Denied by the defense. Now he's opting for an overhead. Well collected by Kuziman.
And we have a point for the Wombats. So we have uh, one for the Wombats, zero for Pub X. We just started the game. So this two is already the Wombats started with the break on their end. So Pub X, who started the Swiss Championships in League A. So would they would now really at least try to hope to get the first position in League B. And the Wombats, they were hoping to climb up into League A, who did not win the game this morning. So they at least want to try to enforce their position by getting first place in League B. So these two points, these two teams will battle it out. I think Fabix probably they need to stay motivated in this point. They might be a bit disappointed that they could not maintain their position in League B. So let's see how well they maintain their their head and their motivation. So to come in here, so let's see how it goes. There you go, big shot for Hamas. She collected four fabrics, so they will be happy. They have a point on the board. So now it's up to them to get the break that they conceded to the Wombats to get their one back. <laughs> and you can see here. Brian Garrett's indicating four women on the line. I think he's motivated, he is having fun. So uh, let's hope that his energy translates to the whole team. Fabix getting some last instructions from coach Rukstuhl. Telling, giving them some instructions. They need to be careful not to take too much time on the line because there's actually time limits on how many much time these teams have. Just also to keep everything going and to avoid people on the lines getting too cold. So we got Jenny, Jennifer Rishner with the pull here for Fabix. Great pull fielded by Andrea Kammermann for the Wombirds. Now we got uh, Blattler to Schmidli, to Kammermann, back to Blattler. And he's seeing Schmidli going deep. Great collection there in the height, in the end zone. <coughs> Which gives a second point to the Wombats. Yeah, be careful when you put, because there's the, he, right here, there's the water coming. It's gonna be soaked, but I'd rather hang it on the other end here. Yeah. Talking to some of the players that try to dry off their clothes here in our in our camera booth, while we see a replay of the shot from Blattler to Schmidli, and he's getting up high into the air to score their point to secure a second one for the Wombats. There we go, Fabix underway. Disc in the hands of Di Pietro. He's looking El Babazi for a reset and back to Di Pietro. So with the zone the Wombat set up here. Making it hard for Fabix, but now they get it going.
but just when I was saying that one, there was a turnover, and now the Wombats will try to get another point on the board. But Fabric says no, not this time. They get the turn, get the disc back, and El Babazi will try to get the disc moving, but the Wombats are already ready with their zone waiting for this and the overhead throws it's just a little bit too short from Runge Tiger to get that disc even though he's making a tremendous effort to catch the disc close to the ground so now Zorotz for the Wombats has the disc in his hands looking onto the field <laughs> trying to find his fellow handlers he gets the disc moving once everything is in motion, great effort there by Adi Stadelman to get that disc back, but El Babazi says, no, I want to keep it there for my team. And there, Fabric's player catching the disc, almost slipping, having it slipping through his fingers, and great give and go movement there, puts Fab on the board with their second point. We can usually show things on the sideline and comment about that. And, you know, we uh, usually talk about the uh, replay as well. When you see your shirt, you know, Perfect. Thank you. All good. Oh, the yeah, If you need anything, then uh, ask him. <laughs> Okay, now we have <laughs> Fabrics yeah, there, yeah, ready to pull. We have Stauffer with the disc in his hand for the pull. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Fabrics getting ready, still trying to get the break back that they conceded to the Wombats at the start of this game. You got Blattler with the collection of the pull in the end zone and a very unfortunate drop on the first pass gives a very short field to Fabix. This is was just what they were hoping for. Stauffer has the disc looking for his option but his throw did just not have enough angle on it and so the defense for the Wombats could swat the disc right away and they will get another chance to score their point. I think number 13, she will be really happy about this one because she had the disc slip through her fingers in the start. So now again, this is back into the hand of Blattler. Overhead throw <coughs> to Kurman, who plays the disc right into the hand of a FAB defender who swats it away. Here it's there. So Stauffer, he will get the disc back for Fabix to play it. Has the disc right on the line. Nice cutting there from Fabix. From number 45, Robertus Garamuza. And now we have Zili with the disc back to Stauffer. As a Great job as an abil availability as the handler and an overhead pass to Geritz, who is unable to collect this one. So the turn goes back to the Wombats. And with this, I will say hello to Lauren, my fellow commentator who joined me in the booth here. Great to have you. <laughs> oh, yeah, before I can just say this, this is Ulrika on the mic also here. For you, I've been here already all day, so I'm very happy to have some company after having commentated the game before all on my own. So here we have a pretty exciting game between the Wombats and Fabix. Both of them fight for the first place in the League B of the Swiss Championships. And the Wombats are off to a good start. They have some great flow in there. We have... 
Yes, textbook. I'll be really happy about this one. So we had Honegger, Tudura, or the other way around. They both have the same number, so it's really hard to tell. I think it was Schmidi to Honegger. Dura. So the Wombats have a double here. We see this again, up line pass, and then beautifully wait and caught high in the air by number 45 for the Wombats. Yeah, the games before were pretty challenging. There's like, that's why we live on a small island here in our commentary booth. And again, we can see we have a woman pulling, meaning that we have four women on the field this time and three men. And the disc is up. We have Di Petro for Fabix picking up the disc. This is Epine in the middle. Epine looking for option, find Thomas. And the defensive throw was just tipped a little bit by Kraus for the Wombats. Which gives the Wombats another chance at another, just another break point. So the Wombats here start off Andreas Wigmann with the disc in his hand, the tallest player in Switzerland. He's looking for his option, but he doesn't really get much stuff to work with from his teammates. Now Kraus, she has the disc. The low disc cannot be collected by her teammate. We get the Petro for Fabrics. And for the score, number 38, or 98 in this case, it's Patrick Superbrüller. Yeah, both teams seem a bit subdued. So there's not a lot of energy, so maybe they're still drying off. And this takes us to 3-3. Three, three. So the one, the Fabrics managing to come back just a little bit. So we'll be happy about this one. So again, both teams set up. This time we have Zili with the disc in her hands for the pull. Oh no, it's Richner again. She had a great pull before. Let's see what she can do this time. This one was not as good as the one before, but still quite a good. Yes, we get Kaiser with the disc there. Big defensive pressure there from Glauser. There's two cross to Kuhlmann. Looking for his options. And then Stadelmann with the disc now. And the great continuation into the disc for Marietta Kneubüller. Absolutely. Here again. The replay, but there's the replay of the previous point that we had for Fab. Let's see if we also 
get a replay of the current point. Yeah, Fab, I think they were pretty happy about that point before. And now we have the Wombats with the on, the on the board with four points and Fabix with three. Great pull there by the Wombats. I want to test. Test the audio balance. So we get the picture now with the disc in her hands. Options from Fab, but they choose to swing it around. Feeling some pressure from the yeah. Wombat's defense. Yeah, the, the zone is set, so it makes it really hard for the handlers to get a nice movement going there. El Babazi now with the disc again. Oh, a little, little bit overthrown. The Petro could, could not get her hand on that disc. So now Fabix is again in the role of defense. Lettler's walking up to the disc. He's already deciding what she wants to throw. Disc is going back to Lettler. And a great catch there. From Schmidley, right in front of the end zone. And again, he's finding his preferred target, number 45, the mystery man. We don't know, there's two, two 49s on the board there. Could be Krigu, could be Adrian Dürer. Yep. Big mystery. Yeah. And just today, again, for, for you on the mic is Ulrike. And I'm Lauren. Um, I'm joining you a little bit late, but nice to speak with you all during this Swiss Ultimate Championship Finals Day. Nice and damp here, but yeah. it's stopped raining, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah so, so the fields can dry off a little bit. bit. It's, it's really interesting, interesting to see on the fields also where teams prefer to be when, when they cut. cut. Like from, from the game before, we have a nice muddy side. side. They, they, they were playing mostly on one side, side of the field. field. So, so let's, let's see if these teams will use the other half a bit more so it's even out. Very much. You, you see, see the arms, arms behind, behind the head, meaning we have three women on the field and four men to field the seven players that we have on the field for the team for each point. And if three women are on the field, we have men calling. In this case, it's Bruno Trotz for the Wombats. <laughs> Roll the pole, number 45. For Fab is picking it up. And we get Rindis Bacher now with the disc. Looking at the options, gets a lot of pressure from the Wombat Zone right up with there. And nicely picked up, yes. Oh, uh, but oh. then it's just the conservation of greatness, trying to do something complicated. Now the Wombats get another chance and get another break. Kurman, great defensive effort there from Rindisbacher to see their one, and she just tipped the disc enough so that uh, Kraus could not get a hand on that one. So Stauffer, he will be happy to get the disc back, but not yet another overhead throw this time, safely collected by Geritz. Dishing it back to Rindisbacher, who is having a great game, and Seely, who could not maintain control of the disc giving the disc back to the Wombats. We have Trotz jogging to the disc, already deciding of what he might want to do. We get the cuts going. Around pass right into the middle. Number 44 with the disc now. No decisions. Great defense there by Zara Glauser. And run through D, and she's so fired up. She's almost already in the end zone at the other side. Great defense there. And again, we have the zone. Great movement there. By the players from Fabix. Princess Bacher again with the disc. Such a great presence there on the field. Yeah, stepping Here. around a mark so many, so many more times her size. And Geertz with the disc, and, and back to Rindisbacher. Rindisbacher looking for her options. 
big mark and Stauffer. Great inside shot to D'Angelo. And then this Bacha to Tilly. And she's something that she likes. Great effort there. Nice footwork from Stauffer to keep the disc in. Garrett's now with the disc really close to the end zone. And Glauser, double happiness for her. She was the one with the run through defense. Ah, does that count as bookends then? Kind of. I think it does. There you go. You look so serious. She should be really happy with that one. But I think it was all big effort also on the shoulders of uh, Luzi Stauffer with this toe in on right on the line to keep Fab in the position of the disc. So we have four points for Fab and five points for the one, but there we have another look at this great effort, keeping the toe inside the field, then dusting yourself off and great shot to Geritz who then throws a beautiful inside. He sees Sarah Glauser right in his corner of his eye. Beautiful pass there. We get Hammers with the pole for Fabix. You get Schmidli picking up, drying it off a little. Yeah. It landed right into the middle of the mud pile. Wow. And tons nice. of pressure from Fab X. Ligman now. Putin with the disc. Like some of these players, they look so much taller than their counterparts. Nice yeah, but Fabek seems to be able to put so much pressure still on uh, yes. matchups that are much taller. I think it's, necessary, it's not necessarily the height, it's also yeah. how you were able to, to use it. And they used it to their advantage, they got the break, which means now they need to try, but there seems to be some kind of I think of call there's an the injury field. called. We can see the sideline repeating the hand signal. Oh, we have Epine. Walking off the field. Maybe just after like two days of playing in the rain, maybe kind of the cramps are starting to set in. You can feel pulled muscles. Sufab now has the disc. El Babazi. Punch Tiger now. Nice pass there by number 33. He's looking for his options. Deep breath and right between the two receivers. A little bit of pressure from the zone. Fab's playing a match. Defense and it's a turnover. great effort from the Wombats, but unfortunately not picked up. And the Wombards already back into their zone defense. They were able to set that so quickly. But they already know that they want to play it, so they don't yeah. even think about it. And then it's just, but Fab is working through it really nicely until now. Really good job there. Great work by El Babazi. And Hamas, you got Punchdagen, but he Lost, lost a bit, a bit of, of patience, patience and he played it right into the hand of the Wombats player. And big man, <laughs> casual catch. Trying to use his height, putting it up high into the air. And we got Schmidli there with the catch for the Wombats. Putting their six point on the board. And I think that was him who got the D in the zone earlier too, so. Yes, that's nice very job. likely. So, so yes, yeah, so, so Fab, they, they might, might need, need a bit more focus against the zone because at the moment the Wombat zone is exa doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And uh, Fabrics, they're getting a little bit impatient here. We have another great look at this effort by the Wombat's player mm -hmm. to catch that inside pass. But yeah, 
they, they got, got the disc back, back and then they just fight again after the turnover. But, but, but Fab, they might need a bit more patience against the zone of the Wombats and then they can do it. Because we saw this morning that it's not unsolvable. FSL played quite well against it. So maybe they should ask an FSL player if they can <laughs> give them some hints. Yeah. But most of the time it's looking good. It's just at one point they kind of lose the patience and then a little advice throw ends up right where the Wombats wanted in their own hands. And once they have it, it's always hard to get it off mm -hmm. of them again. So we got Gerrits, Turindis, Bacher. So another chance. We'll see if they can zip this zone open. But they're doing a good job here. And it's really nice to see uh, Fabric putting a lot of women in this end of position. Yes. But the ladies do the job. They're very confident, especially Krishna. Confident handler and really safe hands from Rindis Bacher there. CD in the center. Nice, we can see them moving the zone around, yes. making them run. Beautiful work. Oh, oh great beautiful effort. effort. Mm. There's Rindis Bacher again with the disc. And CD. Oh, unfortunate. Drop there. That's it's always also the danger with the zones. You get a lot of touches at one point of the time. Just a bit of lack of focus. And then the Wombat's in the form. So we have the disc in the hands and here. Lots of pressure from Bob. And Kaiser with the score for the Wombat's. Putting a seventh point on the board. It looks like their and zone is having the intended effect, slowing down the offense, forcing lots of throws until a mistake, and then being able to quickly score. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. And it looks like Fab, Fab wants to discuss this a tiny little, little bit. bit. Maybe they heard you, so they call for a timeout. timeout. And during the timeout, we'll also take a little timeout of ourselves, have, have a little break, break. so see you in a bit. We believe Mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ulti League. Ulti League .net. We believe Mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. ultimate things in life are free and we're keeping it that way subscribe to keep up with the latest games tournaments and community content share it with your team and friends and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people spread the word spread the love ulti.tv ulti Where did you guys do? 
Okay. Wait. Any point on the way? Oh. So close. Yeah. And great effort also on the point part of the FAP player, but the disc came in so hard right in his back that he could not really get a good position to grab that one. And another casual grab by Wigman there. Overhead shot. It's a big ask of Kraus to get that disc. So again, Hamas with the disc. Number 47 there. Anti Petro and Babazi to back to Hamas. The zone again. Uh, I think this is exactly what the Wombats want, the deep shot. But a great, great read there by <laughs> the Fab player. To yes. I think he will be really happy about this one. Number 79 for Fab. Cliff. There we go. And we have indication hands between uh, the heads of the players means three women on that line. Which means that Krishna, even though she already has the disc in her hand, will not get to pull. So we have Garrett's with the disc for Fab, who will pull that one. Last indication from Coach Ruckstuhl. Absolutely. They're not trading far behind, so they can definitely get there. So we got Blattler with the disc. Feeding it. To Rotz. And then. And that's a s that's the score for the for the Wombats, which means we, this takes us into halftime, and uh, we will have a little break. So we're the players, and we will let you delight yourself with a few fun clips from our TTV and our some of the sponsors. So thank you a lot, and see you in a few minutes after for the second half of this entertaining game.
Let's go slow, man. Okay, welcome back. It's the end of the halftime. So we were starting the second half of the third game of the day. It's the fight for the ninth position in the Swiss Championships. Ninth place means also the first position in the National League B of the of Swiss Ultimate. And we have Fab X and White playing against the Wombats in blue. And here we have the Wombats with the disc now. Trotz trying to find a teammate. Kraus has a great position there. Playing it to Schmidli on the line. And gr continuation, but great defensive effort there. And there was a innocent bystander who did not pay attention. <laughs> That's why it's so important <laughs> for people to stay away from the sideline. Always keep your three meter distance. It's not only for the players, it's also for yourself. <laughs> As we could see here, this prime example. Yeah. <coughs> so now, Fab, after this good defensive effort, they will get the disc. Ready to play. And we have Great layout there by Schmidli to get the disc back for his team. And collecting it for the score. So the Wombats are hot on the second half. Great defensive play there. Nine points on the board now. Fab still at five. the layout D there, yeah. yeah. But there's still lots of smiles on the line for there for Fab. So I think they're not too, too down. I mean, there's a lot of good action going on. It's just often if you make a small mistakes and you give the disc to the Wombats, then it's, as I said before, it's hard to get it back. They want to keep it. Definitely, definitely. So they will start on offense now. We can see quite a number of familiar faces on the line from previous points. They were doing a good job. I will do a tentative guess and say that the Wombas will show us their zone again. It's doing a job. And again, we have Rindlisbacher and Seely back in the handler space together with Richner, doing a great job, but Stadelmann was just there to put up on enough pressure to have the disc fall to the ground. Now Fab is again asked to play defense. Kammermann to Stadelmann, now to Blattler, looking for options. It's always such a reliable presence on the field. Number 13 now for the Wombats with the disc. Back to Stadelmann, back to number 44. Surveying his options, thinking about the push pass. Not holding it longer in his hand. And the, yes, uh, the trusty hands of Rindlisbacher there. And she's looking up and what does she see? A zone. Great put there by Stauffer. Yes, Skarmusa with the disc now for Fab. Back to Rindlisbacher. Nice fake in there. Richner with the disc. Rindlisbacher again. I got to see. 88. And Sealy with the disc to Stauffer, and just a bit too fast in the in this play. He did not really have time to react to catch it properly. Oh 
Absolutely, and there again we have the slippery disc. Oh, I might have hit him on the in the face. Holding his nose, <laughs> needs to injury. He needs to get off the field. Good signaling there by the signaling there by the by the Fabix players. Shadowman is like uh, I don't know if he's calling for yeah they're different there it's like they're calling everything <laughs> it's a bit unclear yeah but then he held his face I think he wanted to say I want to want to change so, so we got Schmidly coming in for him it's still the old school signaling okay so Fabix will pick up the disc we get Stauffer on the disc. Let's see, stays cool, plays it back right to Rindlisbacher for a really nice give and go play there. And great look to find Richner, who finds the number 88. And again, 67 Rindlisbacher, back to number 3 Stauffer, and Rindlisbacher again. Just such a great combination there. Number 45, Skaramudzer. Back to Rindisbacher. Skaramudzer and an overhead throw. Great collection there by Fabix, by Richner. Just at the right position there. Yes, but they stayed they pretty cool. Really always just saw the nice hole for the inside shots. So I think they will be really happy about this one. A bit more patience and the nice give and go movements there. Beautiful to see. And some kids. <laughs> yeah. If you wear the proper footwork, then the puddles are no problem, I would say. And this kid absolutely does. <laughs> there we have another shot of this overhead shot right into the hand of Richner, who goes to ground just to save the catch on this one. Big smiles on her, hand, her end. I think you did definitely pumped up. So let's see if Fabric can use this energy. Get another point on the board. 9-6 for the Wombats. Wigman catching that pull. Number 31, the disc back to Wigman. Schmidly with the disc. Good cutting there from the Wombats, but the disc is still on the far sideline. Mm. Disc now to Kraus, still on that far sideline. Schmidli really close to the end zone, looking for his options. Great inside shot, but it was even too high for the really tall Wigman there. So Fab up to races not really making use of this fast break option that they have. Yeah. Ah, I think they're trying to fall back into the zone. No, I think they're kind of playing a bit more loose. El Babazi with the disc in his hand, looking for fellow players. But there's a lot of double cutting on going in there, so he's opting to try to put it deep. But who else is there? Then the tall Schmiedli for the Wombats. And again, Wigman now with the disc. <coughs> trying to find his teammates and the great read there from number 31 for the Wombats. 10-6 is the score now. It was a good read on the disc and a correction of the positioning to get this one because when the disc was going up, I was not sure he would be able to to collect it. <laughs> yes. Here we see a confident defensive <laughs> play there by Schmidli. Good leader now. Wigman, no defense, so he has time to collect. And here, really great 
direction from Corman <laughs> for the Wombats to secure their 10th point of this game. Let's see what they come up with. Again, I think they've, they've seen they need to stay patient again that zone. And I think they have the right people on there to just do this. We see Kichner again, Brindlis, Bacher, and Geritz. And they, this trio did a really, really good job against the, the zone. There we go. Tilly is stopping the disc. Brindlis Bacher now. Great to see these players also having the confidence to play in the handler position against the zone. So amazing practice for them to work in this position, gain confidence also for fu the future. Because both of the mixed teams that Fab is fielding are, have a lot of focus on development and even during the tournament you could see a lot of positive development going on. <laughs> Garrett's thinking about the deep shot, <laughs> but then he decided, okay, maybe not. Okay, number 88 with it is, but he's thinking about it, and it's exactly what the Wombats wanted. It was a bit high also for his teammate, Skaramudza. Yes. Well, he definitely had to, he definitely had to. But then it was also too high for number 45, who is not a small person either. Yeah, it was ended up behind the soccer goals. Usually it's helpful to have those if they catch the disc for you. In this case, they did not. It was even too high for the soccer goals. But now we have Trots with the disc. Already, he was already no much thinking about this. He wanted to throw this inside shot, and he did. Kuman with the collection, quite a number of really tight catches there. Big defensive effort <laughs> by by Fabix, and then great collection there of this blady throw. Yes, well, there is a lot of contact there. Again, the slightly over there is <laughs> a lot of stumbling going on currently. And another overthrow, but this one did not really come out at extended, but he could count on his teammate there. Wonderful collection, mystery player number 25. Great job on that catch. I was sure it was down. <laughs> Yeah, and he's looking really happy about that one. There we get a, like a far away shot of this sliding catch with the disc in his hand. Here we can have another sh another look at this one. So Rudd's with the disc, thinking mm, maybe, okay, hammer's always a good option. And there we go, trying and great, great shape. And since the ground is so soggy and wet, he could really slide on the ground. Yes, I think both teams decide they want to show us some spectacular stuff. Not afraid to get out the overhead throws, the layouts. And you can see that the shirts are getting muddier and muddier. I don't know if it's the design or if it's like this because all of the players on the Wombat side Look at if they laid out all day. We get the Petro with the disc for Fabix. Looking for options, trying to find Babazi, but he... Good defense, there's a turn. Okay, hand block there from Schmidli. Yeah, it's like always to throw around these really tall, gangly persons, it's really hard. But then, Hamas, she said, okay, that's not the end of this point. 
I want to give it another shot. So Fabrix has the disc now again. So Bruller with the disc being faced by the zone. So Fab just needs to stay cool. Maybe have another handler that helps out in the back there. There we go. We get Gochman. Oh, great <laughs> layout attempt there. Eva Bazi again. Good positioning by Hamas, but De Pietro opting not to throw the disc to her. Again, Gochman on the sideline. And De Pietro in the center. This is a really nice play there by the Fabrix handlers. The thing is okay. Yeah, just like try to stretch it a bit more. Kind of the you have the poppers coming in closer and closer. Kochman again, great popping, and together with Hammers, they do a really, really good job giving the continuation options. Now easy resets there. Nice work from Fabix. Got to Petro again with the disc. Hamas, Fabazi we have. It's still in place, yes. Oh, it was a good defensive play there from Kraus, but there's a talk. It might have been a bit more contact than the Fab player was happy with. So Bruder. Discussing it, if it's a fall there, we had another look at it. I mean, there was a bit of contact, but the question is, was it still good, like a defense? A lot of people on the same spot. Mm. Definitely. Looks like they're opting to contest it. It's contested, yes, which means it will go back to the thrower who threw that disc. Ah, okay. Yeah, and now he has to pick it up, exactly, because <laughs> he was walking away. I was like, what's he doing? He caught that foul, but now, yeah, now it's a turn. It's like, yeah, I think in all this, it's like his confusion, he forgot to pivot, and uh, this is never a good, good option against a tall person. And there we go. Who else? Who else than Schmidli under the disc? He's been so reliable on these shots. So in this case, it's not even a 50-50 throw that's going up. It's like a 95 throw. Good fast break option there. But heartbreaking for Fab, they did such a good job on offense there against the zone. You know, great shot there. You can see it again. Schmidli striking deep. Tabula just behind it, but he just did not have the good position to co actually contest this one. And you can see the height that Schmidli was getting. I'm always envious when I see people that jump this high and make it look so easy pick it down in the outstretch yeah, hand, which means that now the Wombat's 12 points, Fab 6, <laughs> so they really have their work cut out, they really need to step it up, a bit more, a bit more focus. <laughs> so far they're doing a really good job against the zone, it's just the moment of inattention or impatience, and then the Wombat's get it from you and they will get it, give it back. So again, we have reliable group of people there with Lindelsbacher, Geritz and Richner. Geritz collecting the disc, seeing Richner. Yeah, yes. But they know that uh, this is the group that has the, the zone figured out, so. So now that's like a person defense. This is looking good. Garrett's avoidable for the reset, but Hildesberg had the better position. Great movement there. 
<laughs> Great effort by Tilly to not step on her defender, who laid out just in front of her. Yeah, the, the shot by Richner was just not high enough. I think the look was really good. The intention, it's just that the, yeah, just that the, the throw itself did not get enough height. Then, now we need to see it's the defensive effort. Really good defensive pressure there. But Kraus, she had such a good position. Great, <laughs> great, yes. And you could really see that uh, Tsurotsi really knew how to put the disc in front of her that she should get, could get it. Because I was like, oh my God, this looks really far out in front. But no, it was just perfect for her to catch it and the defense did not really have a chance to get a hand on there. You know, we had a tremendous effort to catch up to their player. And the moment is really good. Fast break. There we go, we see this again. She already had good separation at the start and then sliding on her knees. <laughs> and then it, <laughs> and then uh, they just took a little bit moment to take some breath and to, uh, and with this one, we have a little time out. I think Fab probably, they might want to talk about what's going on, that they could improve to actually maybe score a few more points before the game is over. So we also have a little break during this timeout. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. After these small informative cl clips, we're back after the short timeout. Still the Wombats with the disc in their hand. They're already at 13 points. They tried to reach 15 points before, before the time is over. So far, there's 60 minutes played in this game, so they have ample time to bring this to 15. However, FabX, they will try if they can say have a say about it. They're currently at six points. So they need quite a lot of points to make up this gap. Yeah, you get nice with the disc looking for option. It's the first time we see him on the disc again. Yeah, now we get Gochman. She's always smiling on the field. She always looks so happy. Back to nice. And again, Gochman against the zone. She's trying to direct traffic, telling people where to go. Hamas, such a good, reliable presence in the proper space. Oh, we get some speculative throws going up there. This is exactly what the Wombats want. Fabric should know this by now. So they are right off into their good start. Kuman with the disc on the line, back. <coughs> Cameraman, Kaiser, big fake there, just to move the mark a little bit. She sees Cameraman in the middle of the field. There's some synchronous cutting going on between her and Schmidli. And nice, he said, okay, I will, I'm, I'm done being nice. <laughs> I'm playing defense, so he's getting the disc back for, for Fab. Gachman with the disc now. And the Wombats, yeah, kind of out of position on defense, but the Fab players were just a bit ambitious in their throwing. 
Oh, number 33, she just could not get there on time. So Wombats get another chance. Kamaman picking up the disc, drying it off. Always a good move in these conditions. So she's hoping for some movement from her teammates. Pretty happy Kaiser with the disc. Throwing it forward and Hamas. Great defense there. Good save from von Steigen for the point. Oh no. Was she he already in or not? Some people it's yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a bit of a discussion going on because like I saw some signaling of a point and in some points unclear and then he threw it right into Kaiser and he was on his knees trying to yeah yes maybe if we can get a close-up of that play and we, we get a reenacting of that play <laughs> Discussing it, trying to make their stands. I mean, it's always important. Like also, you have the disc, check your feet, be clear about it. And then, easy passing. I think also, von Steigen, he got a bit hasty on the moment, wanted to be quick about it. Kochmann now nicely explaining it. Here. Some people already signaled the point. Mm. I think there's a contest there. Von Steigen gets to get the disc back. Everything is against mm. us. Let's see what he can do now. And <laughs> layout. Yes, we got the layout that freed the freed the channel completely. I was like wiping it clean. And then number 33, she was there right to collect the disc. Yeah, just to make make a bit show of it. Kicking. There you go. People walking off the field. I think number 33, Vendry, she will be really happy about having scored their point. Which means that the, the fab players, they stay in it for a bit longer. Get another chance, add another point before the Wombats close of this game. I mean, the Lomba Wombats, they are probably will try to be over with it. I get their well on break. Isn't is the the last game for these teams of the of the season at least in the Swiss Championships? There are a few more Finnish tournaments that might come, but that's the last of the serious ones that are being played for them this weekend. After this, we have a few more exciting games. We have the plays, the game for the third place that will take place right after this game, and then at four o'clock we have the final with uh, Fuchs against uh, Fly High. And the game for third place will be the Wizards against Solar Bang. So stay tuned for those. And until then, we will see what the Wombats can do against Fabix. So we have again number 25 to number 13. And again, Lettler in the center. Number 31 and Rots with the point for the Wombats. It brings them to 14 points. So they're really getting closer and closer to securing the first place in League V. Which I think it's something to console them with since their goal was to be to reclaim a spot in League A. They did not manage it in this game this morning. And there's quite a lot of rain. This game you can also watch on the Alt TV YouTube channel. Was the game this morning at nine o'clock? Like now, they're trying to at, at least, least maintain, maintain their, their first spot in the B. So like next, next year, year they, they will get another shot, shot at claiming a spot in the A. And Fabix, yeah, they're a bit they're unhappy, unhappy about, the about the fact, fact that, that, that they, they did not manage to maintain their position in League A. Yeah. That's also for, for teams that are also focus a bit on development. Oh, sometimes it's not that bad, bad even to start off in the League B, so, so they can work on stuff, gain confidence. And you have and a chance to play against teams like the Wombats that throw out such good zones. Yes. There's definitely a lot of learning opportunity. Yes. 
And we see the hands ready for the pull to go up. Cyril Babazi for FabX. Getting everything in motion. Trying to find his teammate, Kochman. De Pietro with the disc now, finding Hamas. Always sporting a fetchy head. Makes her easy to recognize on the field. De Pietro again. And El Babazi. Nice patience there, they just need to maintain it. Not really getting a lot of options. Yeah. Good movement there through the zone. Now we're getting some momentum. Pushing them backwards. Yes, exactly. I mean, if the, the, the cup stays in place, it's fine as long as they're moving forward, which they're doing. And again, Ham is doing a good job. We got nice right behind there. Again, El Babazi with the disc. Really patient playing there. Nice now, De Petro. Good job. Patience there. Great movement from Gochman and Babazi. And you can see they're not even running hard. They're just staying really relaxed and just finding the right spots for Hamas. But now we have a great, great shot into the depths. A nice find by Hamas to get the disc to von Steigen. Really great look. For a moment, I was a bit afraid because Wigman, he had a good position in there as well. But the disc was perfectly put into von Steiger's hand. And good patience so from the fob cutters to stay deep and stretch all of those Wombats players out so that they had the room to make that play. Yes. And this was really, really nice offense from fab against that zone. So they're, they're starting to figure it out. I mean, it's a bit late in the game, but let's see. Maybe not. It's never too late. Yes. But it's a hard ask. Definitely. <coughs> Having to catch up seven points. I want an exciting, I want an exciting break train. Let's That's see, what I'm going see. for. We had a break there. So now it's a, yeah, it's a up to Fab to get the break in this game. Let's see what the Wombats will have to say about that. Get their first of seven potential match points. Some few words, last few words from the coach. A pretty young line out there for Fabix. Nice to see. Oh, great effort there for the catch, but it was a bit high and catching it over your head when it's a kind of over thrower, that's kind of hard. So now Fab can try. Getting their chance there. at their break point. Definitely, definitely. During this buffer, Giggs, Fischner. They keep swinging it. And again. Stauffer and Disbacher switching positions there. That's always a good position, keep the defense on their toes. Nice just there from Gerrit Swift. Everything again. And Disbacher to Stauffer. Nice pass through the center to Zili. Great shot there from Stauffer. And we have Gerrit Good reaction, correction. <laughs> I think that this was actually for <laughs> In that case, but Gareth, he was like, no, nope, that's mine. I want to keep it. Great playing there from Stauffer. Good movement. Stau stagnating a little bit. He has a replay behind him. Just keep patience, keep it moving. Yeah, we'll see if they can do that. The yeah. Wombats players definitely look tired. Yeah, yes, definitely. And they, so they they're finding another, another gear. Layer. They're looking really good against that zone now. They want that break. And they but they need to, they need to stay patient. Be sure be sure about the passes that you want to play. Great movement there. 
and right into the hand of the defense. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I was not sure he who caught it. But that let's see if the Wombats can convert yes. this into their game point. And it's, uh, it's Ross looking deep. Kraus is going, but he decides not to. I think uh, Klaus, she had a better position this time. So they go rather through the handler. Klaus again with the disc. No, she with the deep shot on her own for Kuhlmann. Perfectly Great timed. Put. Great put. Wombat three really sniffing at the 15th point. And so close. Really casual collection and an unfortunate drop on this last point into the end zone. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, this could have been over by now. No, I have to play defense again. But there we go. And Gerrit, he probably would think, okay, good, good thing. Now we can try again. Directing traffic. <laughs> no, no, you were here. <laughs> good knowledge of the rules. Oh. It's kind, kind of, of an interesting, interesting throw, throw there. Yeah. Was it touched collection? maybe by the maybe, yeah, but the the collection yeah. with the left hand. Myron Gisbacher, nice flow, great grab. Really nice flow there, but this one is a bit speculative on the end. But the flow was really, really good. Nice work there by the FAB players. But now they're back on defense. And the Wombats have another chance yes but they have the full field to go but they've shown us that they can do that one definitely <laughs> okay Blattler walking to the corner looking for his options <laughs> seeing the upline shot nicely connected by Trot on his knees and the flying defender in front of him, playing it back into the center to Blattler. And again to Kammermann, looking for options, round throw into the center. Kuhlmann with the disc now, Blattler again. And, and the deep shot Klaus going up. Streaking deep, good, oh, nice collection there by Kraus. But good effort by yes, the defense. Very good effort. And, uh, and looks like that's that the is the point for the Wombats. The 15th point. So congratulations to the Wombats for winning the first place in the National League B, the ninth place in the overall Swiss Championships. And congratulations for Fabix for a great game and congratulations for their 10th place. And we will see you back in a few minutes here for the game, <laughs> for the third place for the bronze medal in the Swiss Championships, which is uh, Solibang against the Wizards from Geneva. And until then, I've been Ulrike. And I've been Lauren. And thank and you for tuning in. It was a pleasure to have you. See you soon. See you. Bye. TV.
Thank you. 